I am here in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn with council member Chiose, and we are gonna do something really wild. This might be the first time that a member of the media is getting a tattoo with an elected official. The theme is permanence, it's definitely a word, and we're excited to make some art on our bodies. This will be my very first tattoo, and I would never do it unless it was here on this show with political personalities with Sky, where we elevate fun stuff behind the scenes of politics. I can't believe we're doing this. This one is like an archipelago that looks like a person. And what does that mean to you? Um, it's cool. Okay. <laughs> How old were you when you got your first tattoo? I was 20 years old. The first one I got was this little fortune cookie right here. <laughs> for good fortune. Tell us how it feels to be the youngest New York City Council member ever. It's awesome. When I ran for office, identity was a huge part. It's something we brought to the table for the campaign. I know that we wanted to energize a lot of young people to get involved, and we turned out a record number of young voters. And because of that, a lot of my agenda and the work that I want to get done is youth focused. You're 24 yeah. years old. You've been able to engage Gen Z, yeah. not just here in New York City, but through your following on yeah. social media, through getting all these articles done. That gives you a lot of power. Absolutely. And it, it's just so cool that I'm sitting here with you right now as you're getting a tattoo, which is another <laughs> like symbol of power, of permanence. Absolutely. In 2024, 40% of the national electorate will be millennial and Gen Z. So cool. Uh, and a lot of young people, you know, my generation, believe in progressive values for our future, whether it's environmental justice, racial justice, criminal justice reform. A lot of the people that are going to the polls and voting for these types of changes are people from my generation. So on my social media, I try to report on the work that I do within the city council and the fact that people can understand, you know, you, what it can be. You've been great at it. All your little selfie videos <laughs> on the chamber floor. It's exactly, been, it's been exactly. Amazing. And people that have never been exposed to this line of work have been understanding the work that we do within government and yeah. hopefully getting them engaged within coming election cycle, not only for me, but for like-minded individuals that believe in the vision and yeah. uh, the future of the city that I share. Sky's about to get her first tattoo. Okay, it's gonna be fine, everyone. Right. <laughs> I wanna talk about, you know, the next generation of, of movers and shakers, and even the fact you're getting a tattoo. Like, it was a big deal. I remember when Justin Bryan was first elected to the New York City Council, that he toured the world in a punk band, and he has a ton of tattoos. Mm -hmm. And now we see legislators, not only that are young, but have tattoos. You can dress however you want. Mm -hmm. You can use whatever pronouns you want and you can be taken seriously in elected office. Getting elected at the young age that I got elected at, um, I think there was a, a lot of pressure and still is a lot of pressure in terms of being my authentic self in a world as rigid as politics may be. But I think over the past couple of years, if not decade, we've seen our politicians be more people. And I think that's so really? important. I think you're done. Really? Yeah. Am I? <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute.